Hello, this is Bern, and after helping so many women find their soulmate throughout my career, I want to share with you today what is one of the most essential missing elements in love. If you're interested in finding out what that is, stick around because I'll be sharing it on my episode right now. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love you crave and I'm very blessed today to be sharing with you after helping thousands of women find what they want in terms of soulmate, their families, insp inspiring relationships, what I've observed that is one of the most essential missing elements in the love conversation and in the love dynamic and energy that's put behind getting exactly what you want in terms of the most amazing relationship and that is sacrifice. Sacrifice is one word that most human beings don't like to talk about and don't like to, because we take it out of the conversation, we also take it out of our daily experience. But I'm here to tell you right now that if you're interested in finding a devotional relationship, not just a boyfriend, you want a devotional relationship with someone who is a spiritual match to you, who is a physical, exciting match to who you are, who is an emotional match to your needs and your having this fun, playful, but also deep relationship, there is absolutely no fucking way you can get there without sacrifice. And unfortunately, the society that we're in right now has rewarded so much this concept, this bullshit idea, this illusion of getting what you want without putting in the heavy work that's required, right? It's, imagine this, imagine that you want to create the perfect ass of steel and you go to the gym and you tell the trainer, well, you know what? I want to create the most amazing ass of steel. And your trainer says, okay, let's do that. You're going to have to come here every day. We're going to have to do squats and lunges. And here's the things that you can't eat. And here are the things that you'll have to do to strengthen your glutes. And, it's a, and then you start looking at that list and it's like, it's a lot of work. Most human beings want, metaphorically speaking, the ass of steel without putting in the work. And unfortunately, for something as high as what we're looking for right now, the devotional relationship we're looking for, it's not going to happen without work, but there is that part of element of sacrifice in, in the work that we put in. So I'm going to speak to you right now about three different sacrifices, four actually, that you need to be willing to step into wholeheartedly without which this relationship you're looking for is not really, I don't think, feasible, at least in my mind. Number one is the shiny object sacrifice. The shiny object sacrifice means that you want to create a relationship with a guy. You create it, it's magical, it's passionate. After a while, my dears, like it's not gonna feel as fresh as the first day. It's gonna grow in depth in other ways. Doesn't mean there's no passion. There can be even more passion, but it's different. It's not so, it's not, not so new anymore. Now, there will always be shiny objects for him and for you that show up in the way of passionate distractions. I'm not just talking about for you, basically, another man that will show up with different qualities and less baggage that you built together with this guy, and it's like distracting, but also different things, friends, other things that may distract us in some ways from the relationship, right? So it's basically being able to have that balance of how much can I go into other things that fuel my life and how much time I have to devote to this relationship. To think that it's going to grow without giving it intense time, it's not possible. To think that if you just give it time to the relationship, that it's going to grow, it's not feasible either because you're neglecting other things that are important in your life. But So being able to say no to things and to human beings that will inevitably show up in your life, that you'll feel intense attraction to, that you'll feel great compatibility with for the purpose of exploring something more deeply, that will always be one of the sacrifices you'll have to make and he'll have to make along the way. Second sacrifice is the death of the lower self for the higher self. And it's a sacrifice because the easiest thing is when things get heavy and shitty or painful, if, if it's still within the healthy level of painful, to say, well, let's start over, let's go find somebody new. But when, the thi when it's a healthy relationship, but if you're just going through your own shit, it's owning your shit, basically. There's a sacrifice in that. Why? Because the easiest thing is to either start from scratch or to neglect what it is that you have to change in yourself, to see yourself in a vulnerable space, to recognize that there's things that you need to change, not just for the partner, but for you to have more freedom in your own life. 
So that's the second level of sacrifice that you must be willing to step into if you want a high level relationship like the one I described at the beginning of this video. Third one is compromise. Now, there's different levels of compromise. There's a compromise where I'm neglecting something in me so that you have something and it's something that's deeply important to me and I'm killing part of myself to do that. That's not the compromise that I'm talking about. That's where you need to figure out if you're truly compatible with a human being that you're choosing to spend your life with. But there's gonna be other times where you will have to say no to certain things for the sake of your partner. There will be times where you want certain things and they're not of those like deal breakers, right, type of things, and your partner wants something else and you'll have to say, you know what, this time it's yours, this, time, this is you, let's do it for you this time. And that's not fun, right? It's not fun, but it's like, it's give and take. And most human beings, any level of compromise they take as well, we're not compatible. And I think that's complete and utter bullshit. Why? Because the most compatible uh, par partnerships, right? There's going to be things that are, will not match. Many things that will not match. But it's just how you deal with them that matters, right? Fourth level of sacrifice you need to take. Short-term pain for long-term pleasure. Let me give you an example of that. One example of long-term, short-term pain for long-term pleasure is speaking your truth. It's uncomfortable to speak your truth. It's uncomfortable to talk about the things that you know are stains in the relationship without which the relationship cannot grow because then you start closing your heart. When you start closing your heart because you have this disagreement that you never spoke about, then you, you stop feeling that attraction. You stop feeling that fire and that passion. So the short-term pain in this specific example would be having the guts to talk about that thing that makes you feel scared and vulnerable. Because if you speak about this thing, the potential of pissing off the other person or worse, having that person leave you is high. But without that, the relationship can't really grow. So it's embodying consistently this short-term pain for longer-term pressure. So there, there you are. Shiny object, sacrifice, death of lower self or higher self, compromise, and short-term for long-term pleasure. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful. The reason I'm sharing this with you right now is because I share a lot of videos here and so do many other people who are know some things about love and people who don't know things about love, but we all share what we know here in terms of uh, wisdom and knowledge. And the last thing I want to create is fictitious idea that this finding your soulmate is easy. It is very fucking hard. It's difficult. It's painful. And most people will not get it. But if you want to get it, embodying this concept of sacrifice in a healthy way, where you're not just basically saying, uh, he's beating me up, I'm sacrificing. That's not the kind of sacrifice I'm talking about. But there's a level of sacrifice in love that is absolutely necessary. Think about being a parent. If you think there's no sacrifice in being a parent, you're deluded, right? But what you get from that sacrifice is a human being who is just this amazing soul that you've helped sculpt their soul of. It's the same type of sacrifice that I'm talking about. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or somewhere on your screen, you'll see a pop-up show up that allows you to sign up for a webinar I'm hosting that will share with you a three-step blueprint to find your soulmate. Super powerful stuff and it's absolutely free. Hope uh, you find this useful and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life. Thank you.